if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good guys morning to all of you. I pray you're having a blessed and a beautiful morning. Good guys morning to you this morning. Today is Friday, June the 11th, and it is uh, another day, y'all. The Lord has made, and we will, we shall, we are going to, that's right, rejoice and be glad in it. So good guys morning to all of you. I pray all is well with you on this beautiful Friday. All right, let's get our scripture for this morning. Our scripture this morning is coming from 1 John 4 and 18. 1 John 4 and 18. And it says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Let me read that again. This It says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Beloved. Look at that text right there. That is beautiful. Why I say it's beautiful is because of this. Look at this. When you are in relationship with someone um, or when you are just, um, you know, relationship, that relationship could be romantic or it could, you know, it could be. Um, but in any type of relationship, there is a, um, understanding that, you know, if I, um, should do this, or if I go out of this, you know, what will happen as of the consequences, right? Um, you know, there are some things that, that some people won't tolerate, <laughs> if I could say, in a romantic relationship there's some things that pe some people won't tolerate in a um you know friendship type of relationship there's just some things that won't be tolerated and you know the other person knows that and so um they know if i go beyond these boundaries that these are the consequences that could happen well i want to share with you the difference between being in the relationship with God and relationship with man. All right. So as I said just a few minutes ago, with man, you know, whether it's a romantic relationship or just a friendship relationship, you do something, trust is cut, you know, um, um, you know, especially for the romantic couple, you know, if, if you cheat, it's like, oh, oh, psh, bye, get out, you know. Um However, with God, because think about it, beloved, we cheat on God. Yeah, um, we, we, the Bible says, I should not have no other God before me. And if you think about it, there's some things that we do that we put before God. We cheat on God, okay? Um, you know, we, we, we sin against God. Yeah, think about it. We sin against God. Um, there's some other things that we do that are against God because we say that we are in relationship with God, right? Okay. So if we're in relationship with God, we shouldn't cheat on God. We shouldn't, you know, uh, lie to God, even though God knows the truth from the beginning to the end. So, they, I mean, you know, you're trying to deceive yourself if you try to deceive God. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we shouldn't cheat on God. We shouldn't sin against God. You know, we shouldn't do certain things against God, but we do. 
And here's the difference between God and, you know, male or female being in relationship with them. You know, God says, you know, even though you've done this, even though you've done this, even though I know you've done this, guess what? It still does not separate my love for you. Matter of fact, my love comes in in the midst of you, you know, you having sin and you feeling guilty and you feeling, you know, upset. It comes in and, and consumes you to let you know that, listen, I know you messed up, but it's not the end of the road. This is what it's talked about by there is no fear in love because in God, which God is love, he does not invoke the fear. He invokes the love. Many people like to describe God as, you know, fire and brimstone. Oh, you do something, God is going to come down and just rain fire and brimstone on you. He's just going to beat you up. He's just going to, you know, condemn you to hell. But God is saying no. That's not me. <laughs> I know you messed up. I know you fell short. I know, you know, I know. I knew you was going to do it. So guess what? But but guess what? I'm coming in with love. I'm going to consume you with love versus what other people say. You got to understand, God's thoughts are not our thoughts, and his ways are not our ways. And so what people would think and what people would do God, in turn, does the very opposite opposite of it. Aren't you glad about it? I know I am. Um, because there could be times when we deserve punishment. <laughs> because fear has to do with punishment. That's what the scripture says here. Look, check it out. Now, I'm not telling you fear. There's this. It's because fear has to do with punishment. It says the, the, the one who fears is not made perfect in love. And so God wants us to be made perfect in love. To understand and listen, you have no reason to fear because I am your God. I love you. Yeah, I know you messed up. Yeah, I know you fell short. But guess what? I am your God. I love you. <laughs> so therefore, you in turn should love me and let's get this thing together. Okay? It says the one that is fear, the one, the one who fears is not made perfect in love. Jesus says that I, I have not given you the spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. God is love and we have love. There's no reason to fear because of what we have done. There's no reason to fear because of what people have said. Remember, people are not God. I often tell people I have no heaven or hell to put you in. So therefore, I'm going to give you what God says and let God do what he do best because he the one that does it he's the one that made heaven and hell okay and so i'm just gonna tell you the truth about the matter now whether other people are gonna like it or whether you're gonna believe it and receive it that is up to you so this morning god is saying to you that listen i am love and in me there is no fear in love Matter of fact, I'm going to take my love and drive out every fear, every worry, every doubt, every frustration, every uncertainty. I'm going to drive it out because fear invokes punishment. And I'm not here to invoke punishment. I've come that you might have life and have life more abundantly. And he says, listen, if you have some fear in you, I need you to get closer to me because he says the one who fears is not made perfect in love. I need you to get closer to me. I need you to get closer to God because if you have not, if you have fear, then you are not made perfect in love. You're not made perfect in him. So let's get perfect in him. Okay. And let's get closer to God. And then you'll understand and, um, and, and, and see where you are and, 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 and feel the love, okay? All right, let's pray, beloved. Father, we thank you this morning for your grace. We thank you for your love. God, we thank you for all that you've done. We thank you, oh God, for this scripture this morning, this opportunity to commune with you, oh God. It's talking about love and fear. And Father, you are love, and we thank you for your love. We thank you, oh God, that there is nothing that we could ever do that will stop us or stop you from loving us. And God, help us to understand that, that even though we may fall short, even though we may sin, even though we may 
not reach the mark all the way, but God, you are still there encouraging us and giving us love unconditionally. Father, we thank you for that. We ask you to bless us now as we continue to do your will, O oh God, and being reassured that you have not given us the spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. God, we ask you to bless us throughout this day as we do your will. We thank you for those who are watching now. Bless those that are watching this later. Oh, God, bless those that have probably been already on this morning, that they too can walk in love. We thank you and give you praise, glory, and honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said amen and amen. Good God's morning to all of you. Good God's morning, Lady Karen. Y'all say good morning to Lady Karen. Good God's morning, Michelle Satchel. Good God's morning, Minister Hugie. Good morning, Kanita. Good morning, Sister Johnson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to everybody. Good morning, Sister Powell. God bless you. Sister Powell, I need you to contact me. <laughs> Amen. Good morning, Sister Lakir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Sister uh, uh, Felicia Hat uh, Mitchell. God bless you. Good morning. All right, beloved. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day, and we will see you tomorrow, the same time and the same place for another good God's morning moment, okay? Good God's morning to you. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. Y'all have a blessed day. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. Want to build your faith, your faith. grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's morning.